Hi guys, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet and today we are going to learn how to do this skull goodie bag. Now I had a poll on my community tab um, asking if you would rather do the goodie bag or you would rather do um, the skull fingerless gloves. Um, and the last time I checked, um, it was the goodie bag. And so I prepared to do this and then I checked right before I came on the video and now it's the fingerless gloves. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to do them both. Hey, that's the way to solve that problem. And also, just so you know, um, if you wanted to do the fingerless gloves, you need to know this skull pattern for that anyway. So it works out perfect, okay? So probably tomorrow or the next day, um, I'm gonna try to get on um, as soon as I can and um, show you how to do those fingerless gloves and how to apply the skull to them, okay? So it is an applique. I'm trying to make these uh, videos as beginner and easy friendly as I possibly can. Um, so yeah, we're not going, we're going to actually put the applique on the glove, but it's going to look excellent and you're not going to be able to tell. So this is the applique by itself before it's made into the goodie bag. Now this is a small goodie bag. Um, you could make this larger if you wanted to, and I'll show you how to do that within the video. Um, but yeah, it just comes up and it has a little handle. I just put this little gemstone here, um, just to show you, it's just one of those little cheap little gemstones, but I haven't glued it down yet. I plan to, but I just wanted to add something to it. It looks okay without it, but I just thought it looked really pretty to have that there. So I'm going to um, hot glue that on there, but then it's just held up like this by this little handle here. And then all your little treats can go down in there. Um, and, um, yeah, so it's really cute, wonderful for Halloween parties as gifts, whatever you want. Um, to use them for. And also it'll be great to know how to do the applique itself. Okay, so let's get into materials. Um, you're going to need a 5.5 millimeter hook. You're going to need a pair of scissors and you're going to need a darning needle or as some people call it, a tapestry needle. You're gonna need to use two color yarn if you wanna do this exactly the way this is. I think that a variegated yarn along the side looks the best, but you can use any colors you want. This was um, a Simply Soft um, Karen yarn um, that I got at Walmart, this color changing one, um, and this is just white um, uh, Hobby Lobby basic yarn. Okay, but I'm actually gonna show you how to do this, and I really think it would be better to do um, with some cotton yarn um, or a yarn that's more sturdier for the actual bag itself. So that's what um, this is. Um, so for this video, and I've saved the thing on here for once, I'm actually using Yarn B and it's called Comfy Classic White. Um, it has some um, uh, nylon in it, so it's a really good stretchy yarn. It's not cotton, but it's just really good and sturdy. So those are the, what it has in it. And um, and actually saying that it call, it uses a 6.5 millimeter hook, but I'm using a 5.5 for mine and it works out fine. Also, if you use a bigger hook, that'll make this bigger. Um, and if you do more uh, single crochets around it, that'll obviously make it bigger as well. So that's a way to make the project bigger if you wish to. And then I'm just using a Red Heart, um, color variegated yarn right here for this video, just so you know. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna keep this to the side here so you can see it and know what we're working towards. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to do a slip knot and you're going to chain 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, okay? Then you're going to slip stitch into the first chain from the hook. Actually, I did that wrong. Hold on just a second. <laughs> Let me pull this yarn out before I start having a fight with it. So you're just going to slip stitch, okay? You can pull that a little bit in the back. And then you're going to chain 14 again, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. And then you're going to slip stitch right back into that um, place that we just slip stitched before, okay? And right now what we're doing is we're making the eyes. So we're just going right back in there and we're gonna slip stitch again. So then you kinda of got like a figure eight going on here, okay? This is what it looks like. All right, so now we're gonna be working into this first loop and what we're gonna do is we're going to single crochet 19 all the way around. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And you can push these over as you need to. Thirteen. 14, 14, <laughs> this yarn's gonna fight with me. We're at 14, so now 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. And then you're gonna slip stitch right into the middle again. And then you're gonna jump over here to this other loop and you're gonna put 19 single crochets in here as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, Sorry guys, it was trying to knot up on me. 16, 17, 18, and 19. And then you're gonna slip stitch right into the middle again. So I'm gonna try to go right there in the middle and do a slip stitch. And now you're actually going to cut off yeah, that's a little odd, but that's what you do. You cut it off. And you're going to do that a couple times um, in this video, and it's just the way it has to be done for um, this skull. Okay? So there we've got our eyes. Okay? So now we're going to take our yarn, and we're going to do a slip knot. And now we're going to count seven from the center, okay? So from this center, we're gonna count seven over. And you've got your slip knot on your hook. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you're gonna bring your yarn right here into the seventh one. And you're going to bring that in for a single crochet. Keep that a little bit loose so you can work into it if you need to. And then we're going to single crochet seven, including that first one. So including this first one where we brought in our yarn, we're going to count that as one. So there's two, three, four, five, 
six and seven. Okay. Then you're going to jump right over this middle and you're going to do seven on the other loop. Make sure that you count your seven even as this first one down here in this corner. So you want to get right in there as well. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay? And now what we're going to do is we're going to turn our work and we're going to start making the top of the skull, okay? And let me just fix this yarn real quick. <laughs> I haven't had any problems with it, of course, until now we are on camera. Okay, so now we're going to start decreasing to make the top of the skull. So to do that, we're going to, as we did, we turned our work and go right into this first one and do two together. So there's one, and then there's two. You've got three loops on your hook. You go through all three. Okay, then you're going to single crochet 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And in the last two, you're going to do two together again. So I'll show you that real quickly. You're just going to go right in, pull up your yarn. Don't go through anything. Go into your next. Pull up your yarn. Don't go through anything. You have three loops on your hook. Go through all three. Okay? Now we're going to turn our work again. And we're going to decrease again in these first two. Two together. So there's one. There's two. And then you're going to single crochet eight. One. two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then in the last two, you're going to do two together. And again, turn your work. Do a decrease in the first two so there's two together and then you're going to single crochet six one two three four five and six and the last two you're going to do two together and one more round, we're going to turn our work. You're going to turn your work, and in the first two, you're going to do two together. Then you're going to single crochet four across. One, two, three, and four. And then you're going to do two together. Just like that. And that's your last row for the top of the skull. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut off again, leaving enough to work in your yarn. Okay, so tie that off. And now we're going to be working at the bottom, okay? So you're going to be working around the eyes now. So I'm just going to flip that over just like this, and I'm going to lay it flat. And then I'm going to bring in some more yarn. 
So I'm going to start with a slip knot, just like I've been doing before. Okay. And then we're going to, um, hold on just a second, I'm looking at my notes. Now we're going to count eight from the center. I'm going to go ahead and put this loop here, the slip knot on my hook. And we're going to count eight from the center. Okay. So counting this one down here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you're going to go right in there and you're going to do your first single crochet. And then you're going to, including this one, work five. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Okay? And that leaves three. One, two, three. So you're going to chain three. You're going to skip the three that are left in this loop. And you're going to skip the three that are in the next loop. One, two, three. And then you're going to single crochet into the fourth. That counts as your first single crochet. And then you're going to do four more. So we did one, two, three, four. And in total, we have five. So one more. Okay? So that's what that looks like. So now we're going to turn our work. We're going to skip this first stitch right here, this first one, and we're going to go into this next one, the second one, and we're going to work 11 single crochets across. So there's one, two, three. Oh no, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Um, so sorry. Okay, back to where we were before. Let me look at my notes here real quick. Okay, just want to make sure I tell you how to do this right. So, um, yeah, you turn your work, um, and then you are going to skip the first one, but in the next one, you're going to put a single crochet in the next four. So there's one, two, three, and four. Then you're going to put three single crochets in the middle of this chain three space. One, two, and three. Then you're going to put another four single crochets across. So there's one, two, three, and four. And you're going to leave that last one there, okay, because we skipped the first and we're going to skip that one as well, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn our work and now we're going to single crochet 11 across, going right into that first stitch. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay? Now we're going to work on our mouth or our teeth, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four, and you're going to turn your work, and you're not going to be working into this first stitch here because that's where our chain of four is, and then we're going to skip this next one. So we're going to technically go into the third one from the start here. So there's one, two, and three, so we're going to go into there. Do a double crochet and then chain one. Then you're going to skip the next one, go into the next, do a double crochet, chain one. 
and you're going to do that all the way across so skip the next one go into the next double crochet chain one skip the next go into the next double crochet chain one and into your last skip this last one it's going to be a little hard to find but go into this last one double crochet and while i love this guy, yarn guys it is a little bit stringy because it's got nylon in it okay so now we're going to do one more row of that doing the same thing chain four turn your work and now you're going to go right into the top of your next double crochet Then you're going to chain one and go into the top of your next double crochet. Chain one, go into the top of your next double crochet. Chain one, go into the top of your next double crochet. And then chain one, and for this last one, you're gonna count up three, one, two, three, and put a double crochet into that third, third space there. Okay, and you have completed your skull. And now all we're going to do is we're gonna go around with one single crochet all the way around. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. Basically, all you're gonna be doing is trying to find a space all the way around the skull to put a single crochet, but I'll show you where I put mine and what I do. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna start by chaining one. I'm not gonna take off any of my yarn. I'm just gonna keep going and into this first space here, I'm gonna put two single crochets, one and two. Then I'm gonna go into this space right here and I'm gonna put a single crochet. And then in this one right here, I'm gonna put two. And it is kind of important that you mirror both sides if you can. Try to remember what you do because um, you're going to put sew them uh, together so you want them to be pretty even if you can. Okay? So we're just going to go all the way around with single crochets everywhere that you can find a space. Trying to remember what you did on each side. And then of course for this project you're going to want to make two of these because we're going to be putting them together to make the goodie bag. Okay, so you want to try to remember what you did for both of those. Not just mirroring both sides, but for both skulls. And I've got a little knot here, as you can see. So I'm going to undo that. We're adding a little bit of light and a little bit of fan because <laughs> it's hot in here. Okay, so I'm just going around doing the single crochets. And as I said before, if you wanted to make this bigger, you could do as many single crochets as you wanted around to make it larger. You could also use a bigger hook. Um, but you don't want to go around it too many times with a single crochet because you'll lose the shape of your skull. So just keep that in mind um, the bigger you make it with going around with the single crochets. So if you do want to make it much larger, larger, it would probably be best to use a larger hook and then just go around a few times with a single crochet. So I'm just trying to remember what I did on each side.
and I'm avoiding all my little things I have here. Okay, so now I'm back to here where I'm gonna put two single crochets in each. Okay, and now I'm back at my corner. So I wanna do a single crochet and chain one to match the other side. And in this space right here, I'm gonna put two single crochets. And then on the top of this double crochet, I'm gonna put a single crochet. And in this space here, I'm gonna put two. And I'm just gonna do that all the way down. So I'm putting two there. And now we're right back. Hi guys, so my camera went dead and I had to start back over again here. But we just ended on this last single crochet, so we're gonna go right into our chain one that we did. And by the way, if you're new to crochet or you would find it easier for you, you could have put a stitch marker there um, when you started that. So, but I'm gonna slip stitch right into there. And uh, you'll know you got the right place because it's going to be really hard to get into. Okay, so we're done with our skull and our single crochet around. So we're going to cut off, leaving enough to sew on. And unfortunately with this project, because you do have to cut so many times, even though it turns out wonderful, um, you will have a lot to sew in. Okay, so, um, so what we're going to do is, is... For the sake of this video, okay, I'm going to cut all these off because it would take forever to work them all in. You need to work them all in, okay? But I'm just going to cut them all off to save time. Oh, I hate doing this. I hope this doesn't come unraveled while I'm doing it. <laughs> okay, so cutting everything off. But you're not, you're tying it all in. Okay. And you're gonna find the side that looks best. Now I will tell you with this, it's very evident the side that looks better because this, this side you can see looks a little bit knotty and you can see where we have had to break off. So um, that'll be real obvious to you which side um, looks better. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to take um, both of your skulls and you're going to put the good side facing out and you're going to line them up together. Okay, then you're going to take the color, whatever color that may be. Okay, so this is what we're, we're working towards here. So I'm going to bring this in. I'm going to bring in, I'm going to do a slip knot using the same size crochet hook. And instead of sewing this together to make it a little bit bigger, we are going to single crochet it together. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. You can go in at any place you want to. I'm gonna go in right here, going through both these. Well, I always go on the wrong side when I'm doing that. Okay, I'm gonna go in right here making sure that this is lined up to the best of my ability. And you could use stick pins to do that if you wanted to. But, so I'm just gonna bring this in. I'm having a hard time getting through both of those there. Okay. And then I'm going to single crochet through both sides, just like this. I don't know if you can see there, but I'm catching both sides. And 
and I'm just going to go all the way around trying to, like I said, trying to line it up as best I can. Doing a single crochet all the way around to hold it together. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You probably will have to miss a few here and there. It's still going to look great. Um, so don't stress out about that. But do try to get under both V's on both sides. And I'm just going to do this with you on camera. Just going all the way around. And then when we get to the edges here, right down to the edge, I'm gonna go right down here. Well, actually here, I'm gonna do a chain one and that's just gonna keep the square space there for me so it doesn't look too rounded, okay? So right when you get down to that edge, just do a chain one and then you just keep going around. And that's what it looks on the back side. Okay, and I'm coming up to my other edge here. So I'm going to chain one. Go into my next available stitch. Okay, so let me get this out of the way. I'm so sorry. And then we're going to work our way up here and I'm going to show you how to do the handle. So you can stop wherever you want to do your handle. I'm going to go right up here because we do want to have a decent opening to put our little goodies in. Okay. So the way I'm going to, to gauge this is right here is the top of the eye right here where this pink starts. Okay. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So I'm going to leave all of this open. 
Okay, so I'm going to chain 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. And then I'm going to go back and right here from the eye, okay, I'm going to see how many I need to go up. So if I was right here at this eye, so now I'm right here, okay, do you see? So probably right there is one. So one, two, three, four, five. So I know I need to go in right about here, okay? So I'm just gonna go through both sides. And I'm gonna do a single crochet. So there's one, two, three, four, and that would have been my five. And right here where we first started, I'm going to do a slip stitch. Just like that. And then I'm going to cut off. And then you will sew that in later. Okay. And then now you have your bag. Now what you could do is you could leave it like this if you wanted to, but I wanted mine to be, my um, handle to be a little bit thicker. So what I did was, is I came back and I did a single crochet all the way around. So I'll show you how I did that real quick. So I just did a slip knot, came in at the base right here, the base of my um, handle, and I did a slip stitch. And then all the way up the handle, I did another single crochet. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and as you can see, you just go all the way around doing another single crochet on there, and then it makes the handle a little bit sturdier, like this one, just like that. And then when you get done, also you can make your little flower, I place my little flower, right here and as I showed you I'm going to hot glue this little gemstone right there on top of it okay so they make really cute little goodie bags um, and yeah so that's all you need to do um, if you want to make this flower I have the tutorial for that I'm gonna link it in the description but if you want to try to find it on my page I think it's the beginner friendly small flower um, I just did that video not long ago but I am gonna link it in the description and I'll probably put it in my Instagram screen as well my in screen captions on the end so yeah so I hope you enjoyed this video um, please like share and subscribe and I will see you soon for the fingerless gloves happy crocheting bye bye guys